Hi, everybody. Welcome to this tap along session. And what we're going to work on today is when you are frustrated because your partner or your kids or whomever are not helping you with the chores. So what I want you to do is get a pen, paper, a little bit of water, maybe some tissues if you think you're going to need them. Um, we are going to do some tapping together. Also, if you've not done tapping before, there's a three and a half minute video I have on contraindications and cautions to tapping for your own self-care routine. So make sure that you watch that ahead of time. Otherwise, here's the show reel while you are getting your stuff. All right. So welcome back. So remember, once again, we are not going to ever tap on anything traumatic, as mentioned in the cautions and considerations. But what I want you to do today, think about a specific moment in time where someone didn't help you with the chores, right? And the more specific we can be, the better. Because if we think about all the times people didn't help us, remember, our mind's going to go and nothing's going to change. And they're like, EFT doesn't work. So I want you to write down right now, and you're going to pause the video, two or three different situations in which you weren't helped with the chores. So maybe the time my husband said he'd take out the garbage and he didn't, right? But be really specific last week. Okay. And the time uh, two weeks ago when my kid said he was going to put the dishes in the dishwasher and he didn't, right? And the time two years ago when my best friend said that she would pick me up and bring me to work, but she was 10 minutes late and I got yelled at by my boss, okay? So write down two or three different times. Very, very specific. Now, for each of those times, write down how you feel thinking about it right now. Not how you thought about it back then, right? We can only change how we feel right now. When you tune in, where in your body do you feel it, if anywhere? And then how strong is the emotion from zero to 10? So go ahead and pause the video, write those things down on your pen and paper, and then we're going to do a tap along. Okay, so now that you've got the things down on your paper, pick one, and you can do one of two things. You can either tap along mimicking me, saying the same words that I'm saying in the same phrases because your unconscious mind is actually going to work on the things on your paper. So you almost don't even have to work on that right now if you don't want to, right? Or you could pick one of those things and instead just say back your own events, right? So what I'm going to do, we're going to start tapping on the side of your hand. So even though I feel angry in my stomach, thinking about two weeks ago, when my husband said he'd take out the garbage and he didn't, I deeply and completely accept myself. We're going to repeat that three times, even though I feel angry in my stomach. Thinking about two weeks ago, when my husband said he'd take out the garbage and he didn't, I'm open to letting this go. And even though I feel angry in my stomach, Thinking about two weeks ago, when my husband said he'd take out the garbage, and he didn't, I accept I feel this way. All right, top of the head, feeling angry in my stomach. Between the eyes, feeling angry in my stomach. And remember, you can tap one side, both sides, doesn't matter. Side of the eyes, feeling angry in my stomach. Feeling angry in my stomach. Under the nose, feeling angry in my stomach. Under the mouth, feeling angry in my stomach. Under the collarbones, feeling angry in my stomach. And under the arms, feeling angry in my stomach. Great. So take a breath, take a little sip of water. And now I want you to look at... If you were tapping on your own situation, look at the same situation. So in this example, two weeks ago, thinking about my husband not taking up the garbage. Notice the intensity of the emotion. Has it gone up, down, or stayed the same? Are you still feeling angry or are you feeling something else? And where do you feel it in your body? So note those down. We're going to do another round. 
Okay, so use your updated words or just mimic when. Even though I feel sad in my stomach. Remembering two weeks ago when my husband didn't take out the garbage. I accept I feel this way. Even though I feel sad in my stomach. Thinking about two weeks ago when my husband didn't take out the garbage. I accept I feel this way. Even though I feel sad in my stomach. Thinking about two weeks ago when my husband didn't take out the garbage. I accept I feel this way. Top of the head, feeling sad in my stomach. Between the eyes, feeling sad in my stomach. Side of the eyes, feeling sad in my stomach. Under the eyes, feeling sad in my stomach. And keep breathing, good. Under the nose, feeling sad in my stomach. Good. Feeling sad in my stomach, under the mouth. Under the collarbones, feeling sad in my stomach. And under the arms, feeling sad in my stomach. Great. Tune in one more time. And just notice, what emotion are you feeling now? How strong is it? Where is it in your body? Okay. Remember, we want to tap everything down to a level three or zero before we move on to another situation when we're doing our own self-care tapping. Okay, so even if you're starting to think about a different time or a different thing that didn't happen or did happen or whatever, make sure you just take a note of that and then make sure you tap this down to three or under. We'd like to get to a zero. Now, remember, if your emotion's going up, you might be thinking of too big of an incident or you might be letting your mind go to something bigger. So try to really, really stay focused on one time, not all the times. Okay. And if it's still going up or you're still not moving, there might be something underneath that's blocking it. And that's when you want to get as professional. But let's do one last round. Okay. You could always go back and watch this over and over and over again. So using all the new, all the new words. So even though I feel sad in my chest, thinking about my husband not taking out the garbage two weeks ago, I accept I feel this way even though I feel sad in my chest. Thinking about my husband not taking out the garbage two weeks ago. I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel sad in my chest. Thinking about my husband not taking out the garbage two weeks ago. I accept I feel this way. Top of the head, feeling sad in my chest. Between the eyes, feeling sad in my chest. Side of the eyes, feeling sad in my chest. Under the eyes, feeling sad in my chest. Under the nose, feeling sad in my chest. Under the mouth, feeling sad in my chest. Under the collarbones, feeling sad in my chest. Under the arms, feeling sad in my chest. <sighs> Great. So now if you tapped on your own situation, once again, notice how this has changed, but also look at your other situations you wrote down, or even if you followed me and didn't work on your own situations, look at the list you made now. Notice what's changed in the situations, how you feel about them, where you feel about them in the body. So you can use this process. You can even mute me and do this, play this over and over and over again, and keep on tapping to clear these emotions for really specific situations. So that way you don't have the emotional reaction when someone doesn't help with the chores. Just remember that you are loved, you're loving, you are lovable. Congratulations on doing your own work. My name is Dawn. Please subscribe for a bunch more things. And I've got classes coming up. You'll see those on Eventbrite. There's a link down there as well. We'll see you next time.